Hi everyone, welcome back to the Omni Studio series and I'm Vishnu Kumar and in today's session we are going to learn about the action elements of the Omni script and these are pretty important and in this session we are going to cover three things like what are these, why these are very important um, and how to use these. So the first question like what are these right so so far what whatever we have built is it's more of a front end on omniscript right we haven't connected to the back end right so and also it's not just that you are connecting with the back end actions as it name says right you or user are doing something right then we are calling these elements right it can be your email action that you want to send out an email it can be your variable setup as well like okay so if you have two values from user and you want to calculate the sum of those values and show in like third variable or as an output you can utilize the action because you are basically performing an action or user is performing an action right and there could be another things like you can extract data you can make integration procedures right so all of these right so just to give in a recap right this is how uh, our learning looks like right now right so we we did cover in session our data raptors integration procedure and we have seen that from the flex cards you can call data raptor integration procedures right although there are multiple options but i am considering the ones that we have covered in our series right and then going back to the omni script if you look at this so omniscript can also call data raptor integration procedure and also there are other things which uh, can be called through the omniscript through the action elements okay and yes i have added the flex card here because you can put flex card in your omniscript as well okay so now let's go into the over org and let's see how it actually looks like and how we can utilize uh, the action elements on our omniscript so I have created a very basic Omni script and I just wanted to show you like where we have the action elements and where we can use them, right? So straightforward, straightforward thing, you can drag and you can put your action element on the step as well as outside of the step as well. And you can do multiple times, like so for example, I can put my data raptor here, I can put delete action here, right? And I can do like email action just after it, right? And then I can call integration procedure as well, okay? So what does that mean is that whenever you drag an action element on step, it becomes a button. What does that mean is that user must click on this button to execute whatever you have defined here, right? So for it, for example, in this data adapter, if user click on it, then this action will be called and whatever data adapter we are defining will be called, right? But here, these are not user accessible actions, right? So how these will work is like, as soon as user click on the next step of uh, here, like a next button on this step, then these, all the action will be executed in the sequence right so i'll show you this preview and this is the action uh, that we have dragged so it is as a button but as soon as i click on next uh, we might receive errors here because uh, we haven't provided the needed things in uh, any of the actions right but that's fine but in this in this event right all the actions were being called right so this is how it works right so in if, if i want to give in a typical example right so let's say you are building a single screen form right and you have a submit button right so definitely submit button won't call any kind of actions right it will just navigate you so as soon as you call click on submit button it will execute the all the action elements here right it can be creating the data it can be fetching the data deleting the it can be anything right but it will be always here right but if you want uh, that before clicking on the submit you want user to perform some kind of other action through other buttons or functionality 
then you can drop those actions here right and you might have an equation like here you can see that uh, five actions are getting called automatically just after um, once you click on next right but here if you put five things here those all will be five different different actions right so there is a there is a another way around that you can utilize uh, there is a concept of call like action block uh, where you can put action block and then you can drop your uh, to four actions here and what will happen is like you don't need to click on the two actions uh, it will be just that you click on one button and it will execute all of your action inside that button so yes we will cover these things in later videos but yeah this is how we can utilize the action and yes uh, also uh, and another example of this that like let's say whenever you are loading this screen and you want to load some data from database then what you will do, do is like you will put your data raptor ips or whatever you want to put right maybe it, it may be a variable initialization right that thing you will put here and again you can put multiple so before step one get loaded it will execute all the actions and then whatever data you are receiving from these actions you can utilize on the step one so in the next session we will be going through the uh, the important actions uh, for this series and if there are other action which are left through this series will be covered in another series called advanced omni studio cool uh, see you in the next session thank you